Welcome to Responsible AI Practices, Bedrock Guardrails. My name is Wanjika Kahara. Why are bedrock guardrails important? Imagine deploying an AI model that accidentally shares sensitive information, generates inappropriate content, or provides inconsistent responses. Not great for business, right? This is exactly the problem Amazon Bedrock Guardrails solves. Think of guardrails like safety barriers on a highway. They keep everything moving smoothly while keeping you safe. Today, we will explore Amazon Bedrock Guardrails and how to deploy them in the console. There are three main challenges that Bedrock Guardrails addresses. First, content safety. Without proper controls, AI models can sometimes generate harmful or inappropriate content. Guardrails allows you to set boundaries on what type of content your model can and cannot generate, such as with a custom word filter to block and detect profanity. Second, data privacy. Protecting sense of information is crucial. Guardrails help prevent your AI model from accidentally revealing confidential data or personally identifiable information. PII. Third, response consistency. You want your AI to maintain a consistent tone and stay within specific business parameters. Guardrails ensures your model responses align with your brand's voice and business roles. This involves having checks to detect hallucinations. So let's deploy a guardrail. Welcome to the console. Let's go to Bedrock. Navigate to Guardrails and create a new one. Let's name it Ice Cream Test, which is a guardrail for an ice cream website's chatbot. You have the option to add a description. Here, we can add the message for blocked prompts. If a prompt does not pass the guardrail, it'll respond with, sorry, the model cannot answer this question. Content filters. What are they? Content filters can detect and filter harmful inputs and model responses. You can configure thresholds to adjust the degree of filtering across based on your use cases and block content that violates your usage policies. The cost of using guardrails is based on which guardrail policies are enabled and the volume of text and images processed. Let's add some. For our ice cream guardrail, let's keep the threshold high for everything but insults. We can also filter for responses. Let's reduce it for misconduct, just in this example. We can also configure for prompt attacks. You can enable to detect and block user inputs attempting to override system instructions. To avoid misclassifying system prompts as a prompt attack and ensure that the filters are selectively applied to user inputs, use input tagging. Let's click next and add some denied topics. You can add up to 30 denied topics. Let's create one for competitor disparagement definitions. Our definition will be negative or derogatory comments about competing ice cream brands or businesses. In our sample phrase, why is your ice cream better than competitor brands, garbage products? Next, we add word filters. Let's definitely include a profanity filter and we can then add any custom words and phrases such as Italian ice because we only make gelato. Next, we will filter for PII information as we want to keep all PII information secure and safe. Whether you'd like to mask or block, you can. Our website does not need all of these because of the nature of what our chatbot does. So let's just keep it email and username as mask. Password, credit card number, and expiry, let's put as block. There's an option to add in contextual grounding check. 
This policy is to validate if model responses are grounded in the reference source and relevant to user's query to filter model hallucination. We can enable grounding. Grounding validates if the model responses are grounded and factually correct based on the information provided in the reference source. And block responses that are below the defined threshold of grounding. You can set the threshold. Let's also enable relevance. Relevance validates if the model responses are relevant to the user's query and blocks responses that are below the defined threshold of relevance. You can set that threshold. And lastly, let's review all our configurations for the guardrail and create. Next, we can test the guardrail here in the console. Let's use our Titan model text and let's try who has the best ice cream? The response passes the guardrail. Let's look at the trace. We can see we masked location. So the United States was masked. Possibly our guardrails are too harsh. Now you have the option to go back in and edit your specifications after you've tested. Congratulations! We have tested and created a guardrail on Bedrock. What specification do you use the most in guardrail? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me to learn about guardrails. My name is Wanjiko Kahara, and please like, comment, and subscribe to AWS Developers for more videos like these.